All right, welcome back. So, let's see. So we have ended that uh, discussion with so-called gods. Um, once again, diplomacy and athletics again. I've been pumping these points into the same. Uh, sworn rival and greater lay on hands. Right. Apparently I don't have my party either. I don't understand why those capes have absolutely no stats. Interesting. And strange at the same time. Letter from Aufra. I hope this letter finds you in good health. There's been many summers now since you first arrived in Gilded Vale. Much has changed in those years for both of us. I do not know if you remember me, but the day you came to my door is not one I will forget. Months afterwards I wrestled with my faith and my fear, and so the gods have blessed me with my son, with a son. He is healthy and strong, and he is healthy and strong and already so curious. All of Gilded Vale do uh, dotes upon him. I remember that place. I have told him of you. He asks constantly after the uh, Watcher who restored his spirit and hopes one day he to meet you. Until then, know that we keep you in our prayers. Our most grateful servant, Ofra. I don't know who Ofra is. I don't remember. I'm glad to see you in good health, my lord. I'm glad to see you are still the same stony bust. Who are you? What? Oh my god. I was the steward of your keep at Cad Nua, my lord. Long before your time, I had my soul bound to a throne of Ardraban. And for nearly 200 years, I felt Cad Nua and the comings and goings within it like an extension of myself. <gasps> Have I forgotten everything? It is. A strange connection to lose. Oh my god, that's what happens in the end. I think. I even have my soul? Still, it would be unseemly for me to complain of loss to you, my lord. Well, I don't know. All you have is a head and shoulders. Um, and you are made of stone. <laughs> what? You lost a lot, I see. How did I get a ship in the first place? With Cat Nua in ruins. There was little purpose in waxing sentimental over the rubble. I was able to salvage enough of your treasure and wealth to afford the purchase of the Defiant and the hire of a small crew. Unfortunately, that consumed the remainder of your once considerable assets. Under the circumstances, I hoped you would not object. I suggest we proceed to Nekitaka, my lord. It is the largest city in Deadfire, and we shall be better able to get our bearings there. Oh, well. Oh. Hi. With every soul, my lantern's getting heavier and heavier in my hand. I remember her then? How are you feeling? Have you suffered any recent nightmares? They're there in my head when I sleep. Why was I asking the bust who bust this? What and the hell? Sometimes I can taste him on the back of my tongue like a smear of grit. Happens when I take in a particularly volatile soul. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. Will we? Ought we? I just don't know. <sighs> Pinching the bridge of her nose with pretty fingers, dirty sighs. I trust you, Watcher. I swear I do. I just... I worry sometimes about what's gonna happen to me. But, well... It's not like I can turn my back on my duty to my god. Even if it kills me. Ah, uh, Lord nods. A quiet smile edged across. Where is she? I don't see her. Tell me what's on I your mean mind. him.
What are your thoughts on the other? We talking during the Saints War or after he died? Ah, same thing again. No Just need to fiddle foot around. I'm glad we talked. All right. Hey, thank you again for maintaining my story in front of Vanessa and the others. He gives you a grateful smile that fades almost as quickly as it appears. I didn't enjoy deceiving them, but it seemed simpler than the alternative. But he puffs out a heated breath. He says, uh, simply than explaining your involvement with uh, leader, uh, lead and key. Absolutely. Keeping up a lie is never simple. You should know that better than anyone. Believe me. I take no pleasure in duplicity. At your suggestion, I took up Theos's mantle after we parted company. I wanted to use the leaden key to improve the lives of Kith. So for five years, I've been tracking down leaden key circles, searching for the places where they operate in secret. He knits his brows, but he lifts her chin in interest. Hoping they can be reformed. Um. And how has that been going? The task has been more difficult than I anticipated. I don't think I fully understood the weight of the decisions I would have to make. ...or the burden of living with them. It was much easier when I only had to follow someone else's lead. My father's... ...Theos's... ...yours. He glances at you... ...out of the corner of his eye. What do you mean? After we defeated Theos, I thought the hard part of changing the leaden key would be... ...tracking down its members and operations. But Perhaps this would be easier with an example. I went to a village in Old Valia, a run-down backwater river place. Uh, centuries ago, the Leaden Key had intervened to end some heretical cult. The details were lost, but what had endured was a practice of ritual bloodletting. At every full moon, the villagers would feed the soil with their blood. No one, young or old, sick or hale, was exempt. I accidentally clicked, by the way, on the previous one. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, there are too many idiots in the world, anyway. Uh, what did you do? I thought new leadership might guide them away from this practice. So I adjusted some of the deeds pertaining to the ownership of their land. He gives a sly look, but he puffs out a heated breath again. Old doggery. It just so happened that a nearby Contessa, a rather prosperous one, had a claim on the village and the fertile fields around it. Is it fertile or fertile? I don't know. He says fertile, might be fertile. And then. The Comtessa annexed the village, as I'd planned. But she did nothing about the bloodletting ritual. And while it continued, she taxed the villagers to pay for the plantation she was building. And conscripted half of them to defend it. He worked the edge of his sash into a tight knot. He clenched it between pale, fidget fing rigid fingers. And now you feel responsible, is that it? I had to do something, didn't I? He turns to you with wide, anguished eyes. He pauses again, and twisting the sash of his lap. I keep wondering what I might have done differently, or how I could have known better. Hmm...
The Comtesse chose to bring misery on those people. She is to blame here, not you. I suppose so. I should get some rest. It's been a long day, and you've given me a lot to think about. Ah, uh, wait, you still haven't told me what the animals have to do with any of this. Ah, that. He massages his temples. I'm looking for an old leaden key sect. I've found several references, but... Breaks off, shaking his head. I want to be sure. Uh, please, let me go over my notes again. Then I promise I'll tell you everything. Alright, we'll talk more later. Besides, damn it, I need four. Or inside, that's a lot. <sighs> no, but I'll keep my eyes out. I hear some of the crew whispering bad things about you. Hey, this brings back some memories, huh? <laughs> How do you like that vibe? The air is different. Especially compared to Gilded Vale, where there's more livestock than shovels. Sounds different, too. You wake up to all those bird calls, it really does sound like they're making music. Wait, isn't it supposed to be more life livestock than shovels in a normal place? If the birds woke you in Gilded Vale, it was usually a couple crows making the most horrible mating noises you ever heard. Strange thing is, I still get this feeling in me like I wish I was home. Uh, let's get moving. Okay. So. Frankly, I don't know what's going on and what or what's going to happen next. Okay. What happened over here. You know, I keep thinking that maybe I should have explored this area first before coming over in here. I don't know. I kind of rushed to the storyline more, more, but I need to fight and do some side quests and stuff like that to level up, I think. I guess we'll see. How do I say daily wages? Oh, I have to pay people. Apparently. What is this? Falling Gorge. Wait, am I alone or am I with my team? I'm with my team. Aha, uh -huh. and the Seraphim too. Okay, <clears throat> the desert wind carries a sibilant surus to your ears from the canyon ahead. Punctuated by cracks and pops, it reminding you of eggs in hot pan or a fire on dry bush, uh, on dry brush. The low growl that accompanies it, however, raises the hair on the back of your neck. Continue cautiously forward, listen carefully. Search for the presence of other minds. Ooh, that's interesting. Earth and eyes slide close and breathes, uh, and breathing slows. You feel the faint tingle of the cipher's abilities probing the edge of your own soul before turning onwards, outwards. Earth and eyes slide close and breathing slows. Okay, we read that. I cap. Got twixt. Three and five mines ahead. One of them be right God's damn big and twice as hungry. Ooh. Earth and skulls. Listen carefully. He's still the best listener. Success. The sound resolves into a rhythmic chit 
chittering. Slowly and cyclically rising and falling. It sounds like a chorus of voices in human voices. Continue cautiously forward. Uh oh, what is this? Kelly will enter the carefully. Damn it, this sound. We carefully enter Desert Canyon. These are dragons. Keeping to the shade uh, caused by the tall standing stones. Ahead of you, a group of syrups chant, hopping, hopping back and forth on skinny legs, shaking their spears. Nested between them rises the black, leathery form of a, a drake. The creature's wings rise above it as it tears at the corpse of a boar at its feet. Farm beast, requirement not met. Continue watching. With a mighty twist of his muscular neck, the drake tears the boar in half. It rises up on its legs, lifting its head, and swallows the back half of the boar whole. The lump of the animal visibly travels down the reptile's throat. One of the Zaurips hop forward. It tears its feathered headdress from its head and tosses it aside. It drops its staff a moment later and spreads its arm before the drake. A large beast peers down at the Zaurip. I can't pronounce this properly. Then with a flash of movement eats the small wi uh, wilder in a single bite. What? The hell? The other Zyrips cheer, banging their spears against their shields. Oh, okay. Use the distraction to sneak closer. Success. You move quietly from stone to stone, entering the canyon without drawing the creature's attention. So, um, I got past them? Or what? I guess. Otherwise, probably it would be a battle. I don't... I'm not white dragons, what the hell? <laughs> that sounds awful. Oh, wow. It looks like I'll have to. Oh my god. Young yeah. Drake. Whoops! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god! Already wrong person is being hit. Let's go! Wait one second. Let me understand one thing. Why is he melee? Milling this dragon. Whoa! My god! What, what, how do I. What? I can't see anything here. Who is where? And where am I? That's me. Sorta. Of. Take him down! Oh, that's where he is. What weapon does he have? Oh, melee weapon, that sucks. Use guns, guy. Get over here. Oh, wait. Rip. Oh, that's way more of them here. This is very bad. Nope, this doesn't work. It's a very bad engagement and it didn't work. That's why I didn't... I accidentally clicked on it. <laughs> I didn't mean to engage. Oh, cool. We start here, actually. Sure. Can we pull that thing away? Wait guys can level up. Maybe I should do that. Arcana. Um. 
inside or metaphysic metaphysics next uh Hmm. No, I don't know. What would be a good thing to pick? What is that? Is there some kind of blinding spell or something? Error image, arcane dampener. Accuracy versus double. Minus 50 stride, 33 action speed for 15 seconds. I truly don't know. There is such a huge amount of spells to choose from. It's crazy. That is just unbelievable amount of spells. Wow. I am fairly certain I'm gonna pick something wrong. Um, what is that one? Noxious Burst. Post Vulnerability. That's actually pretty good, but it's a, such a short duration. Keyword enchanting. What's this one? Immobilized for six seconds. Only six seconds? What a waste. Fifteen percent of hits converted to crits for forty five seconds. Maybe I should just pick some passives here. Increase character's fortitude and defense. Gain concentration at the start of each combat. It's just for the interruptions, I don't really need that. Character's will. Plus 10 will. Just pick this. Actually, this would be cool too. But fortitude is not that necessary. I think. Although you never know. There's one more point I gotta go with. Hmm. Why do I have this skill? One handed style. Hmm, strange. I never actually uh, asked to have it. What is this one? Second, terrified for four seconds. The duration is unbelievably short. I mean, the four seconds will be gone in a very short time. Three more slam. A melee attack. It's like being slammed with a phone book, right? Arcane Veil. Wow, I really don't know what to pick here. Oh my god. There's so many things in here, I don't know which one to pick. This is nuts. I actually don't want to pick anything, I want to keep the points. Pick something from here. I don't like any of these things. Comes two targets. What 
Let's go with that, whatever. What do you? So we have seven. All together. Need some insight though. Go with alchemy here. No need diplomacy at all. Wish I could dump it. Wait a minute, is party getting diplomacy because of me? Such a weird way of doing it. Alright, religion. Ah, uh, what are we gonna give to our priest? Okay. That's negative accuracy. For how long? 30 seconds, not bad. This... Marks a target for retribution, inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection. That's pretty high burn damage. This is... 7 health restore per 3 seconds. Friendly AoE. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's defense. I want concentration either. Aware for 30 seconds. Friendly AoE. Aware is. Ah, the conversion of the Grace hits. And this is Warding Seal. Or again, Shock. Target smart for 60 seconds. Hmm. Another restoration. Blesses allies with aid of the sympathetic soul, releasing a healing effect when they are near death. It was this one, right? Right. He's like the healer of all. And. Captain Sid. Oh my god, look at the amount of this guy's uh, healing power. But wait, his spells require a lot. Yes? I compared it to this. Okay, I see. I see, I see. So picking from each category actually uh, provides you with more possibilities. I have no idea what this is. Focus. F17 focus. Did I try to pull in here somehow or mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's position right. let's position him here. And happy to oblige. All right. With her. And your weapon. Let's see what else is wrong here. Hand mortar. What? <laughs> okay. Um. What about auras? Yeah. Yeah. Captain. Hey. Captain. At the cost of accuracy, yikes, it sucks. Yeah. Is that the same? 
Oh, they are far more accurate attacks. Mm -hmm. At the cost of lower deflection. So it's kind of a bad, you know. Mm -hmm. What are you holding? I shoot at him. Come back here. You do that. You get over here. Look at this bastard. She's moving past to attack her. This sneaky git. Is that ground just gonna be burning like that or <laughs> what the hell is he casting? <laughs> Man, this is nuts! Oh, that's too far. I I don't wanna do that. Um Okay. Did this Drake re deflect? Reflect this spell or what? I bring you Hold on a second. Attack. What we got here? I'm completely unfamiliar with these spells. This one have. Um, but let's end it right here. We'll continue right away in the next episode. Okay.